Hello and welcome to Feed Felden. We're still in April. Afternoon of April, we're just going to go and check to see how all the, the vehicles are going, all the plows. Let's get into our van, put up the deck, and we'll head off and just go and see how everything is doing. I think some of them must be just about finished. Some of them have probably still got a while to go. For the grass not ready yet, we did take some grass off in the early on, didn't we? Or last episode? Let's see how our big field is going. I think we've got two, I think we've got four tractors working on the big field. We've got the seeding and the, uh, or cultivating and seeding done. Getting done, should I say. So the cultivator is up to date. Yep, the cultivating must be just about done. Let's go and see where the two tractors are. We've got to get this field rolled as well once it's planted. Ah, oh, there they are, pretty close together. Yep, that's probably will meet up in the next. In the next pass. Let's just see where this one turns around. We'll have to go and sort that out. In the meantime, let's just have a quick look at the how far the um, cedar has got. Yeah, so it's well on its way. A lot of wheat to heat, to harvest there, to heat there. Can't be cheap there. Alright, and we've also got the we've also got the vehicles um, working on the top field, and that should uh, I think what I'll do, uh, that's still heading in the same direction. What I'll do is I'll just uh, Stop that vehicle when it gets to the top. And then I'll take it down to the bottom and uh, just let it um, fill the gap, so to speak. I thought this would be the easier way to do it, just to uh, drive it up there. Have a quick turn around, let the other one pass. And 
Let's see if he will find a way back down. And that should come through that way. In the meantime, we will hop out and jump back in the van. Just going to have a look and see what's happening up here. We have a couple of tractors planting here, I think. We just got one. Looks like we just got one working on this one. It's rolling these sweet weedy. Right, so that's that. Those are the tractors that are working at the moment. So these other two have finished their tasks. Thinking we can get some rollers onto them. So let's get each of them back to the farm. So this one's finished. Now we did have a problem with the big rollers, so I'm going to put some smaller rollers onto these tractors and uh, we will uh, maybe I'll get this one just to cultivate this last little section there. Needs to be cultivated, so let's get that done. Right, so here we have the second cultivating, and we'll get this back up to the the um, farm and get a roller put onto that. Right, so here we are just about back at the farm. I'm going to drop off this and return this oh, what a cultivator. <laughs> so let's get the cultivator returned. Well, we don't know which one it is yet, so we'll wait for that one finished as well. Don't want to be returning the one that's working. What we need to do is lease a roller. Rollers. So I think I'm going to go for this big one at the end. At least I know that it should. Transportation box we don't need. So we will lease that. And yes, okay. So let's just get that roller hooked up. And we'll get on down to the bottom field and get it, get it rolling. Yeah, so this has all been about uh, the management of the fields. And uh, it gets a little bit confusing as to where you are with everything. But with these big fields you've got to use help. There's no way you can do it efficiently just on your own. Try and get the jobs done. 
the question is whether this is going to go that much quicker than the and the cedar catch up to the cedar hopefully not so i've used the this roller as opposed to the wider rollers that can cover much distance but much much bigger width um, what was happening is when I used it the last time it um, kept stopping in, at the end of the fields um, not sure why that is so we'll get this going and um, hopefully it will work at more or less the same I think it's going to work at a slightly higher speed but not quite the same width as the as the planter so hopefully that will work out we're going to find out along the way right let's go busy cultivating that other field as soon as that's finished we'll put it on a rover on the other end right so we just decided to collect the jam and uh Sorbet, which is at the factory at the moment, get that down to the dessert factory, pick up some money for that. We're going to see what's there in the mayonnaise as well, and we need to get the, the oil from the oil refinery or oil, oil, oil production, oil plant out. Right, so how much are we going to get up for this lot? That's 15,000, can't complain about that. Right, so it's going to pick up that oil. And we'll get that into the mayonnaise factory. I think earlier on we did pick up the um, We did pick up the eggs from the early from the from the old barn. But we'll check that out, make sure that that's going. And once we've got all that we'll go for a quick check on our vehicles and see how they're doing. Any more coming out there? Yeah, another one. Let's pick that up. And we're just going to deliver that to the mayonnaise factory. This is two boxes of mayonnaise there which we can pick up and put into the into the farm stall. Stall. Should be us a reasonable amount. Yeah, can't complain about that. Right, we've still got a lot of stuff to bring in from the two open farms, but I'll do that off camera. Um, we have made our deliveries for today. What I did want to do is just go and check on. There might be some milk to be. Collected. Let's have a quick look at the animals. Uh, the chickens. Top coop. They still okay. The old barn. If they've got enough. Um, eggs. 
Yeah, so here we have this, not many eggs down there. Milk, yeah, we need to clear milk. Right, so let's go and do that quickly. Let's park up this tractor, or this trailer, should I say. I think the, well, the milk tanker should be down. Yeah, yes it is. Oh, best to fill it up, I suppose. Might need to get a, uh, a proper milk tanker on here now. In fact, I think we will do that. Well, it's offloading. Let's go and have a look and see if we can get ourselves a bigger milk transporter. Seem to be doing very well on uh, bulk production. Just not to be scoffed at. <laughs> uh, it's a reasonable amount of money, but yeah, we're getting some good money in now. So I think we'll sell this trailer. Right, so we'll get into the lorry. We'll head off down to the store to go and pick up the other trailer and we'll see once we're back with it. Right, so here we are back at the farm. We've got the big milk trailer. We're going to load that up now. Don't think it'll be too long before we'll be selling milk. So we'll have a production unit pretty close to capacity. We'll just keep topping it up. I'll we'll have a look. On this map the, uh, the capacities are quite big so I think there might yet be another not quite full load with the big, the big tank a bit close to offloading this. I'm going to have a look and see what the milk situation looks like. Um, where are we now? Oh, we've got plenty of space in there. Yeah. 33,000. Get the next slot in. Yeah, there's so much space for milk. So that's not going to be an issue. Let's see if we get another full tanker. It's still quite a substantial amount. At least this is making a lot of cheese and a lot of butter. Good. 
I did notice at the corner of my eye as I was looking up to the trailer that the cultivator that we had working on the top field is finished, so I'll go and get that sorted out. And we'll have to get a, a roller onto that, get it going. Just get this parked up again. skip on over to that tractor and go and have a go and sort that one out. Right, let's just park this up here. this sorted out and then I think we'll just take a walk through all the other vehicles, see how they're going and we'll end the episode there. This is an episode on the chaos of managing workers on loads of workers on loads of different jobs. Just a little third there. We'll get ourselves another Another roller. I think it, I think this tractor is a bit overkill on this size roller, but oh, I've bought it, but oh, so be it. I was leasing the others. Oops, on the wrong side. I have to speak to the uh, store oh, to deliver this one and uh, instead of having to traps all the way down there and uh, yeah just ask them to park it the other way around it's not a serious problem though is it okay we'll see when we back down to feel and get this going and then we'll go through we'll just jump through all the other vehicles and let you see where they are ah so here we are at the field yeah, the western side of the field now, so we'll get this guy going on this side. I won't quite meet in the middle because the other one's been kind of going for quite a while already. Alright, let's get through to the other vehicles. He's off. Those guys are pretty much in sight of each other. So it's not going to be long before that's done. We'll let that work, work, out, work its way out today as well. Alright, so that's just planting that last bit now. I wonder whether it's planting into the grass as well. I think we're going to find out. Doesn't look like it. Grass going. No, it hasn't. And the problem is, of course, it's planted right up to the... I thought I did a... thought I did a, um, a little... Um, a side land, if I want to call it that. In the event. We'll let that just finish off and we'll stop it so that it doesn't continue going off all over the grass. Just plant it right up to the edge of it, it's not a serious problem. It's going along quite nicely. He's going along quite nicely now. As I said, those two are this one is just about to meet. Pretty much right, running head and head. Yeah, looking good. Yep, so he's finished now. Just want to make sure that it's, it's not showing oats or anything like that in the grass area. 
Yeah. Right. So we need to get a road on to this this beast. Get out first. I think what we need to do is we need to get those cultivators returned. Yeah. Go and get this all loaded and oh no, let's wait. We can plant this field now. So what shall we plant in this field? Let's do something different. Let's do soya beans. What we'll do is we'll just plant the seeds over right here and leave it at that. So you get this plant so it is just for the hang of it. Just gonna have to stick with this one until it's done. One lap just to make sure that it turns the right way. One posh, should I say. Right, so we're just about to the end of this field now. We'll just make sure it's going to turn the right way. Looks like it. Yep, definitely. In case that's what we're going to do in this episode, we'll finish up all these jobs. And I'll get back to you in early May and we can take stock of where we are, get some more income in and we're going to have to wait for these fields to come in and that should bring us in mega bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.